Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motionary, and today you're going to learn how to edit green screen footage inside Final Cut Pro. If you want to follow along, we're using this green screen clip from Motionary, and we'll leave a link in the description for you. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to our effects browser on the right hand side, or by pressing Command 5. Then we're going to scroll down to the keying folder, select the keyer, and pull that onto your clip. And bam, you'll immediately notice the background has been keyed out. The keyer effect has picked up the green color and emitted it from the clip. In doing so, the keyer has now exposed the transparent area, which means whatever is underneath this clip on your timeline will show through. In some cases, you'll find the keyer effect doesn't perfectly remove all green elements. That's because the effect works on a selected color range. So if a green color is darker in some places, but lighter in others, it's possible not all green will be emitted. To increase the range of a single color we want the keyer to remove, we can select a portion of our clip. To increase the range of a single color we want the keyer to remove, we can also select multiple portions by holding down the shift key and selecting another area. Bright green is typically used because it's not a common color found on set or on a subject. However, if you find a bright green color is used on your set, try switching to a bright blue. Now let's discuss how to make your keyer effect look more professional. By holding command and dragging, we can refine the edges of our keying. By moving the center point away from the keyed color, we create a softer effect. And by moving closer to the keyed color, we create a sharper effect. You can use this tool to clean up the edges around your keyed color. And to make any further adjustments, you can tweak additional settings in the video inspector, like strength, different viewing, fill holes, edge distance, spill level, and inverting your keyed area. Now that you have your clip keyed perfectly, it's time we did something about the background. As mentioned before, the key effect removes a specific color from the clip and creates a transparent area. I'm going to open up my browser, and select my shot to pull in underneath. By layering these clips, we've created a new background for the transparent area in our top clip. You can adjust this clip to make it match your keyed out area. By going to the video inspector, selecting the distort tool, we can start to pull our edges in. Now our clip fits within the keyed area. By layering these clips, we've created a new background for the transparent area in our top clip. So now that you've learned how to add a keyer and adjust it accordingly, how about a few other issues you may run into and how to troubleshoot them? When shooting with the green screen, you'll want to make sure the screen is evenly lit to avoid lighter and darker areas, which may prevent a clean keying when you add the keyer effect onto your clip in Final Cut Pro. And when you come to editing your green screen footage, the viewer can sometimes play tricks on you. So to be sure you've properly keyed out your background, use the view options in the video inspector panel to see what is and isn't in the color range for being keyed. Before our final tip, you'll want to make sure your bottom layer is at least as long as your keyed out area. And our final and most important tip is to make sure that the subject you're shooting in front of a green screen is wearing a contrasting color to avoid them being keyed out too. And there you have it. You've just learned how to add a keyer, make adjustments, and learn some tips on how to shoot with green screens. So there you have it. And I hope you found this video on how to edit green screens in Final Cut Pro helpful. So those are some of our favorite built-in effects for Final Cut Pro. But if you're looking for even more cool effects to use in your videos, here at Motion Array, we've got tons of templates, titles, and more cool effects ready for you to download and add into your projects. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.